What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, Crypto Warriors, the Sergeant Crypto, back at it again. Today is Tuesday, May 7th, 2019. Don't listen to what communists say, but look at what they do. Gwen Van Thieu, I hope I pronounced it right. He, he was a Vietnamese, uh, South Vietnamese general, and also the Vietnamese, South Vietnamese president from 65 to 75. All right, let's get into it. Chinese social media giant WeChat bans crypto transactions in its payment policy. This is coming out of a coin telegraph. Chinese social media giant and payment service provider WeChat banned cryptocurrency transactions in its payment policy. Devoy Yuan, founding partner of crypto investment firm Primitive, tweeted on today. The tweet contains screenshots of policy changes which intimates, I guess, intimidates or initiates that users who engage in cryptocurrency trading will have their accounts terminated i guess intimidates tweet contained a screen so there we go we got that let's let's go down to what he uh said right here it is inconvenient for people short term and they can take a hit but long term it is precisely this type of restriction of freedom that will push people to use crypto not a bad thing so there you have it they're trying to control how people use their platform well it's their platform but if you are familiar with uh, WeChat and everything in China you will know that you get everything done in WeChat you don't leave the platform it is a social media platform yes but you don't leave the platform meaning that you you chat in the pla on, on the platform you also order an Uber or whatever the equivalent is make your payments and everything within the platform and right now they're banning cryptocurrency trading basically right now what they have mainly over there is over-the-counter uh, trading and purchasing of cryptos on the platform and it seems like they're trying to crack down on it but what they don't know is when you try to stop uh, people's freedom it'll force them to seek it out even more all right and with Bitcoin, they really can't stop it. It's, it. it's it's the internet. You can't really, you really can't stop it. You know what I mean? You can't shut off the internet. And what we also have to take into consideration that you know WeChat. That's how they make their bread. That's how they make their money. Okay, they they're making their money with people using their platform. They're they're charging a fee or whatever the case is. Uh, with people when people use their platform. So if you're using Bitcoin or or cryptos then that's a hit on them so they're, they're just protecting their bottom line so uh you know it, it's more china china fud when the chinese government which is wechat the wechat is the chinese government you know is trying to ban crypto at the end of the day we know that they're just trying to control it they, they can't really ban it next more news coming out of china and financial the financial affiliate of chinese e-commerce giant alibaba alibaba is the Al amazon of china has participated in a 10 million dollar series a round for kedet quidet an israeli blockchain privacy solutions firm that develops zero knowledge proof technology all right the news was reported by israeli daily business newspaper on uh, today so the series a reportedly uh, led by Mizma ventures and it's closed closing was announced alongside partnerships with Ant Financial, major software firm uh, VM, VMware and RGAX, a subsidiary of Reinsurance Group of America. So here we have one story where we have a, a Chinese giant, WeChat, is banned in crypto, but within the same day, same news, they're saying that they're funding a blockchain privacy firm so this privacy firm Israeli firm is mostly for enterprises you know like uh, uh, Microsoft Azure or like um, the Amazon blockchain I can't remember the name right now but whatever it's basically uh, privacy for blockchains for um, I'm having a total brain fart right now. My allergies are kick, kicking my butt and I, I can't think straight. <laughs> but enterprise, you know, blockchain enterprises. And we, we see that they're, you know, another Chinese company, they're funding it. But on the same side, you know, another another Chinese company, they're trying to block all the open source stuff and keep everything private. 
So that, that's what I was trying to get at. That, that's what I was ultimately trying to get at. They're going to fund all the privacy stuff, right, for, for the enterprises, for big companies. But anything that's open source, they're trying to block. And at the end of the day, it's the internet. You really can't block it. You know, chi China, they have the, the big, you know, the firewall. However, people are still able to use Google and um, Amazon and, you know, Facebook and all these things via uh, VPN. So there you have it. You really, if once people really want to use something, especially like Bitcoin, you can't stop them. All right. And and what is it? More than 50% of the mining uh, for Bitcoin is coming from China. So they're not really stopping that. You know what I mean? So it, it, it doesn't make sense. You got to look at what they're doing. All right. They're funding blockchain projects le left and right, but they're trying to stop all the open source stuff like Bitcoin. But yet they're not stopping the, uh, the mining of Bitcoin. You see, you see where I'm getting that? So as long as it's making money for them, they're not going to stop it. Okay, they're not going to stop it as long as it's making money for them. All right, so that that's it. That's all I have for today. Quick news day today. Bitcoin is up almost a 6k, and the, the sky is the limit, people. Whenever you see these this, this fud coming out of China, always look and see what they're doing in the back end, and they're doing a lot in the back end, and you know we they can't stop Bitcoin. All right. Because if they really wanted to, to try and stop it, although they, they couldn't stop it, they would have, you know, cut out all the mining that's happening in China right now. Okay? So, there you have it. That's my, that's all I got to say. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. You know, smash up those, those likes. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and let's discuss it in the comment section below. It's your boy, Sergeant Crypto, and I'm out. Peace!